Hey, this is Loretta and I'm back with another video. This time I'm doing a project share for a swap that I'm doing with the Free Spirit Sisterhood Cigar Box Swapper Group over on Facebook. And this month our challenge is to alter a muffin tin and also to make a box of trims which is based on a tutorial done by Patricia and I will put her link I'll find the link to her video and I'll put it down in the description so that you'll be able to look at that at any rate um, I think that the theme was love is in the details or something to that effect so I just did the best that I could I went with the colors for the paper that I chose, which were greens and tans and browns and that sort of thing. So on the muffin tin, what I did was I I painted the tin and then on the sides, I'm trying not to dip it too much, I put some of this really pretty Venice lace. And then on the top, I had this really pretty uh, Webster's Pages bloomers trim that I put all around the top of the muffin tin. And then I just filled it. I, I made a little spray right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little lock and key and a little tiny dress form peeking through and a charm and just some flowers some prima and wild orchid craft flowers and then i put in this compartment here i put some really pretty i'll try to pull one out and see if you can see it some really pretty sparkly buttons in all different colors and in this one i put all different types of charms and i'll just pick a few of them up so that you can see Put in some charms and some just some pretty little doodads. Let me see if so I can pick up another one. Uh, there's that one. So, anyway, I just put in some like arty cakes and that sort of thing. And in this little compartment, I put in some uh, Webster Pages sparklers. Look, I'm not even on camera. I think you, maybe you can see those. So I put in a handful of those. There's several different kinds. There's this kind too. So some really pretty little whatnots. All those are the Webster's Pages sparklers. And then I put in here some little decorative wooden um, clothespins in all t sorts of different sizes and shapes some skinny some wide just different ones and then I put in these really pretty bling paper clips because I thought they matched and then I took a cork for this next compartment and I put in all kinds of Prima pins and some little tiny Webster Pages heart pins with the pearls. So I thought she might enjoy that. And then in this last compartment back behind here, I've got some really big doodads and whatnots. So anyway, um, I really hope that she enjoys that. So that was my my first swap. And excuse me, I've got I'm a little bit sniffly this morning. So I apologize for that. And then, let me move this over. This is my box of trims, which I'm going to have to back up and adjust a little bit so that you can see that. So I made this box with chipboard. And then I put some feet on it. Um, I lined it with the paper, with the pattern paper, which I think is really, really cute. And it's got the little sewing theme, so I was real happy with that. The back's just green. 
So I was real happy with that. And then I'm trying to figure out how I can get a better angle. Let me try to see if I can back up just a little bit more. And you'll be able to see my desk stuff behind it, but hopefully that won't be too distracting. Anyway, then I put some, I put a little, uh, a little wooden Kaiser Craft Beyond the Page sewing machine and pop dotted up uh, some elements from the paper here. I used some Webster's Pages flowers and back behind here I've got some little wooden flowers and some tickets back here. Another Beyond the Page little wooden pair of scissors and some little dress forms. And so I thought that turned out really cute. And then inside of the box, I went and looked for some free printables. And I'll just show you a couple of those. I did three of these printables right here. Um, I think you can see that. Three of those printables right there of a really big spool. And what I did is I printed them on heavy-duty cardstock. And then painted over them with some Mod Podge to give them a little bit more stability. So I've got three of those back there. And then I printed some of this little dress form and wrapped some little trim around that. So I've got three of those tucked back there. And then, let me see if I can get that tucked back in there. Okay, and then I printed up three of these. That's some really soft and pretty vintage lace that I got from the jewel box. You guys know jewels? Anyway, and so I printed up three of those and put some trim on those. And then, this is going to be fun to get back in here while I've got it on camera. Then I printed up three of these. And put some trim on those, each of those. And then let me just pull these out so that I can get these in here a little bit easier. And then, let's see here. Sorry, I know my arm's all in the front of that. Then I got, had these, there we go. See, I just kind of, you know fiddled around with them till I got them the way that I liked them and then I got these these little bird cages from Michaels and I thought since they were trims already on the little bird cages I thought they were really cute and that they would fit in the box really well so I put those two in there just to kind of add a little bit more visual interest and then I put some really pretty laces and this is a a little rosette trim. I don't know if you can see that. And I thought I would just, you know, kind of layer those in the box as well. So I'm just kind of put them in there this way. They don't want to stay up, so I just have to fiddle around with them until I get them like I want them. Okay, and so anyway, that's my box that I'm going to be sending to my partner, and I really hope she likes it. I'm super pleased with how it turned out. I think it turned out really super cute. I added this little trim to the very top of the box, and I forgot about, about this little Prima re resin corner piece there. I think it's Prima. It was in my stash. At any rate... I really hope she likes that. I think it turned out really super cute. And then if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment or shoot me a message. And I'll be happy to get back to you just as quickly as I can. And again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Until next time. Bye.